Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from danstube.tv and if you're new around these parts then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And in today's episode I'm testing out the public release of the follow mode that's available for the Mavic Mini through the Lychee app. Now I've been testing the beta version of the follow mode on both Android and iOS and I wasn't completely sold on the experience. It was really cool to see my Mavic Mini actually following me, but it wasn't the most reliable experience overall. So in this video, I'm gonna be really breaking down whether they've upgraded it, whether it's worth buying Lychee now that it is a public release, and my experiences so far with the public release of the follow mode. So I will have some other videos on the channel. They'll pop up on the screen and I'll also have some links in the description. But that's testing out the beta version of Lightshade on both Android and iOS. So definitely check those out and see what the differences are between iOS and Android. And also I've got some videos on the drone link follow mode as well as the drone link software as well. So check those out. Again, they'll be popping up. They'll be in the description below. But go to the channel, check it out and let me know what you think. Uh, if you've got any ideas of some other kind of tests I can do with the follow modes or the active tracking modes, uh, then definitely let me know. So this is the public release. It's the follow mode that's available now to everyone that purchases Lychee and has a Mavic Mini. So for a lot of people out there, this is really, really exciting. To be able to have a follow mode in your Mavic Mini just adds a whole new world of, of exploration, really. So my experiences so far haven't been amazing, though. Like, the beta version was okay. It was never 100% stable though. Like I had a lot of issues with it just kind of moving too drastically and the footage wasn't smooth. So even though it followed me, the footage really wasn't usable. So for me wanting to use that footage, it kind of made it redundant. But if you guys just want to see a drone follow you, then sure, this thing does the job. But I've even noticed with the public release, it's still not fully fleshed out. It still doesn't feel like the most stable following experience so far. Again, I would like to do some more tests. It was a very windy day um, and this was quite a short test, but it didn't feel any different to the beta. It still felt like it was jittery, like it was moving too much, that it wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. Now I sent the drone back, like I gave it a bit of distance from the controller because they were some of the recommendations from people on a few different forums and a few different videos that I was tuning into. Apparently you have a bit more distance and a bit of height and the drone does a better job or the software does a better job of actually following you and creating some stable footage. So I tried that in most of this video here to see if that range would make a difference and the footage was definitely a lot more usable than the previous videos where I tested the beta version. So you can definitely see that they have tweaked it to some extent. Um, there were still some issues though with juddery footage and a lot of stuff that just wasn't usable but it definitely did seem to be slightly improved and when I did have a nice distance and a nice amount of kind of range and height from the controller it definitely did have some really clean smooth shots and that's really awesome to see it's great to see that we can actually have a relatively reliable follow mode for the Mavic Mini and obviously the Lychee development will continue and this will become even more stable as time goes on um, but right now it is still not 100% polished. Uh, one thing that I do prefer over the drone link experience is Lightshe actually does offer a lot of different options for the drone. So you can change where the heading of the drone is, which way the drone is actually facing in relation to the controller. You've also got some really easy kind of sliding options to change uh, the height and distance. But the main thing you want is a reliable following mode. So all of these bells and whistles really don't mean anything if the functionality isn't there. And I think the functionality is there for the most part. There are definitely some issues that I've addressed, um, but for the most part, it's a pretty reliable, solid following experience. So I think for most people out there who are looking uh, to get following options within their Mavic Mini. The drone link option is very viable and I've been quite impressed with that. And I think Lychee is also pretty impressive as well. So they both offer some unique experiences. Check out my, my drone link videos to kind of have a reference of what drone link looks like and what you can actually do with it. But I think Lychee is a really powerful piece of software as well. And we can only expect updates as time goes on. I think in terms of this update here, it's still not there. And I think 
we're definitely kind of in this race between Drone Link and Lychee to offer a really solid following experience and to add all these new features to the Mavic Mini, seeing as it's such a popular drone. So I think it's a little bit rushed, but it does work. And I think if you're really wanting to experience the follow mode, then check it out, you know, like they're definitely going to be adding to it and improving it as time goes on. Just be aware of where you fly. Be careful as this is a third party app. It's not a DJI official app. But I think if you've got a bit of spare change sitting around and you really want to unlock the full potential of your Mavic Mini, then definitely check out my drone link videos, check out my Lightyear videos, and then kind of make an informed decision based on what you're seeing there. There are also a lot of other videos on YouTube as well, so don't just focus in on obviously my opinion here. It's worthwhile checking out some other videos on YouTube. And I think that's probably the best way to make an informed decision. It depends on what features you want. It depends on what experience you want out of, um, you know, a third party app that can offer all these additional features. Um, and again, just see what is available, see what the prices are, see what fits with you and sits right with you, and then give it a go. I guarantee you'll have a very, very fun time playing around with either Drone Link or Lychee. Um, and I will have some more videos in the future on both Drone Link and Lychee. So let me know in the comments what else you would like to see on the channel. Uh, also subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot of high quality content coming to Dan's Tube in the coming weeks and there's over 1200 videos on my channel that you can look through and I'm sure there's something there for you. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.